Hello, and welcome to part four? Yeah, I think it's part four of Let's Play Pokemon Ruby. I'm Fred Sparse, but you already knew that. Okay, so in between videos, I leveled up Bertha just to match Ace's level here. Um, and she has learned Encore and Slack Off, which rhymes with her species name. Anyway, it's a healing move. It's useful once in a while. Um, but I want to get out of these woods, because I hate them. So let's run. Or not run. Um, pro tip! Running makes trainers notice you easier. They will, like, automatically home and lock into your position if you run around them. Uh, if I find someone, like, with nothing around them, I can demonstrate that. Here's a new one, Ninkata. Evolves into a uh, Ninjask, and if you have an empty slot in your party, a Shedinja, like, splits off of it. And I always thought that was pretty cool, and it's the only Pokémon that does anything like that. It's a shame that Shedinja's kind of... terrible. Like, at first you'd think, oh, its ability only lets super effective moves hit it. That, that opens up, like, a whole range of Pokémon that can't even touch it, but... Then you have to factor in, like, Poison will kill it, Burn will kill it, Stealth Rock will kill it, Sandstorm, Hail, uh, just, yeah, there's too many things that could kill it. And with one HP, I mean, you're only gonna last one turn in the Sandstorm, it's pretty sad. But anyways, let's see, here's the exit, but, oh, these... These trees don't look so bad, I can not walk around them. This tree looks like it can be cut down. What a specific observation. Well, I guess I have to leave. Good, because that's what I wanted to do anyway. More berries. Cherry berries. I hate that, because it rhymes. In a way that I just... Yeah, it gets under my skin and I can't even think about it without getting angry. Thankfully, orange berries aren't as infuriating. I like how the tree disappears as soon as you pick them. I have no idea how something like that could survive in nature. It, it couldn't survive in nature. That's the beauty of it. Oh, oh no. I wanted to pick that up. Please don't get in my way, Mr. Wormple. Or, <laughs> sorry, Miss Wormple. My apologies, ma'am. That was awkward. Potion! These people really need to clean out their backyard. Look at all this stuff I'm finding. The super potion. You don't just leave that lying around for punk kids like me for to steal. I don't really want to go in there. There's nothing in there that's useful unless you like growing berries, and I don't. Okay, here's here's a type of chick that we can yeah, we can run around and I can show you what I mean once I harm all of her precious darlings to the point of fainting. Nah, yawning. Must be a really intense yawn to make the foe actually fall asleep. Like, uh... Like in Pikachu's Vacation from the first Pokemon movie. That one weird segment in the middle with Slowpoke yawning. It's probably like that. Oh, hey! Good job, Bertha. You're way better than Ace. Oh my, indeed. Alright, can't do it now, so we have to leave. And then come back. Look, she follows me, no matter where I go. I'm very interesting to her. And here's another tree that we can't cut down, because it's just that impressive of a tree. Should I, or shouldn't I? Okay, sure, I will add a... It's no wonder you haven't gotten very far out. You're kind of indecisive, Miss Haley. And you're using a low tad. That's unforgivable. Low tad. I've used a low tad. Um... It's so okay, it's average. I... You know, if you need a grass type or a water type, 
Ludicolo is not half bad, but it's not half good either. It's just right in the middle. Shroomy shroom. I'm just gonna keep Bertha out. Even though she can only attack once every other turn, her attacks are fairly strong, so it doesn't really matter. Hmm. One more ought to do it, Bertha! Finish it off with False Swipe! Yeah, I'm just kidding, I'm not that dumb. That was a reference anyways. But we are moving on! Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. Alright. Here's the first double battle in the entire game, and it is optional. Unlike later games, where if a two trainers see you and you have at least two Pokemon, they will challenge you. These guys... They'll leave you alone, and I like that about them. Uh, Ace, your attacks are terrible. Well, let's just... Do some of that. Quick attack. Scratch. Bha! You're done. You are done like dinner. Hard den? That's going to make the battle take longer. You're so mean, Mr. C Dot. Bertha, stop loafing around. This is a battle. Jeez. I think you could just rest right in the middle. Like you own the place, Bertha. Well, newsflash, you don't. There, see? Ace had to do things for you. Just to win back some of my favor. And Ace? I'm no longer... hateful towards you. Just, uh, resentful. So, you've, you've been promoted. More cherry berries. <laughs> I hate that. Lepa. I think that might be an anagram of apple. And since we don't have enough berries already... Take my berries, young lad! Take them. Take my berries. Berries were kinda hyped in this game, I'm starting to notice. It's like, oh my gosh, you guys, here's a new feature! We're gonna shove it down your throats until you puke! Kinda like how in black and white every other trainer has one of those stupid elemental monkeys. Don't get me wrong, they're kind of cool, but after the 80th fight against them, it's like, ugh, somebody kill me, please. Um, anyway, we have about two minutes left, so what can we do in two minutes? Well, there's a gym, which we are not going to challenge yet. Uh, let's just go to the Pokemon Center. Let's rest up a bit. Pink-haired she-beast. Please give me my Pokemon back. Don't eat them. Thank you. Alright. And I think... Yep, this is the Cutter's house. He will teach us the magic secret of chopping down trees. I... What? Okay. Thanks for this extremely rare and expensive item that has probably been a fair family heirloom of yours for, oh, I don't know, about ten generations. Just because you like the limber way I move. Thanks a bunch. Um, and we can't actually use that yet because we don't have the gen badge, so... Jeez, let's just... Pre freaking run around for the last minute, because we can't do anything else. Um, this route up here is blocked, but there is an item. We can get a super potion up here. But there's ledges that are, you know, knee-high in the way, and you, you can't climb up a knee-high ledge. That just, you don't do that. You don't. It's impossible. This route is not blocked, however. Actually, it kind of is. But not as early. Um, I'll just go pick that up. I'm sure nothing- Oh, man. Spoke too soon. Taylor, I kind of want you, but I don't have time to catch you, so I will have to run. Pick up this REPL. REPL! Oh, I'm out of time. So... Oh. Goodness. Oh gosh. Oh. 
Oh snap, bye. 